Skypon had already great performance, but we knew that in some cases we needed more performance in terms of throughput, in terms of density. Expectations of I want my order delivered faster keep increasing over time. To take that to the next level, we gotta evolve together with your business. Customers are constantly looking for ways to optimize space, time, and efficiency. We have to continue to evolve and innovate with them. This is the evolution of Skypod. When you work in logistics, you want to get closer to your client. When you get closer to your client, you get closer to cities. Meter squares are pricey. And as a result, you have to fit into smaller space because those tend to be more urban areas. So we removed the empty spaces and we went higher. Et donc sur un sur un même mètre carré, on peut aller jusqu'à 30% de plus en termes de stockage. We changed the way the robot is moving, so you will see that there are no avenues anymore inside the system. Everything is more compact, even the robots. The robots can now go underneath the rack, which is much more powerful in terms of accessibility and density. Cube storage are often limited to the height and are not able to use the available height inside the warehouses. We can build our racks up to 12, 14 meters. Meaning that this generation will have a much higher density than any cube storage technology in the world. Or, on a absolutely conscience que chaque seconde compte. En fait, c'est extrêmement frustrant pour l'opérateur qui va attendre que le robot arrive. Aujourd'hui, on va avoir plusieurs softwares capables de prévoir à l'avance quel est le meilleur ordre des robots. As a result, we managed to increase the throughput from 400 to 600 bits per hour. You have the opportunity to add robots, remove robots, allowing you to address issues like peak season. We have the technology that can access any tot and to bring it to any picking stations, which is not possible with a shuttle. And this brings perfect reactivity. It's inherently designed to handle this incredibly wide variety of load units. The criteria for success 20 years ago was density and throughput. That's now a baseline expectation. Can we also do that while sequencing, order buffering, picking to the right size cart, protection against future volatility, uncertainty in our channels? The answer is yes. And it just allows for a much more elegant and simple implementation and experience. There is no single point of failure, and it's just beautiful. On a poussé encore plus loin le concept du plug and play. You can deploy it twice as fast because you have less things to be deployed. The station is a simple ramp, and we have just the robot going up on the ramp, going down, and that's it. We are able to move the complete orders inside the system, which allows us to completely negate the use of conveyors. This makes your system way more readable. On est capable de faire des stations sur lesquelles on amène à la fois le conteneur qui contient les objets à prélever et le conteneur qui contiendra la commande. Et ils sont tous les deux gérés par des robots. Therefore, you just pick and put it in the final container that will be sent to your end client. You don't need to even think about it. It's just going to work. Having a system that can be so flexible in terms of addressing small system or large system, low throughput, high throughput, means that system will evolve and fulfill your needs no matter what your future needs are going to be. We really have a game changer solution and we want everyday operation to be robust and to be sustainable. We're looking to redefine the market, not trying to solve for things of the past, but preparing for the future. This is one system that can do it all. There's nothing to add, there's nothing to take away. It will really reshape your warehouse.